with Facebook Connect just round the corner, here's everything we think you should expect from the event, plus some of our own predictions. Everything we touch on today will be linked below in the description. First up, we think Oculus Quest Pro will be officially shown, which we saw possible leaks of just this week. Twitter user Bastian, who credited Simulia, posted a thread with four videos that look too official to ignore and cross over with what we already know about Oculus Quest Pro. The first video shows a user scrolling through different avatar customizations, with their avatar mimicking the person's full body and facial movements, something both Facebook executives Andrew Bosworth and Mark Zuckerberg have expressed deep interest in. Note that the user is in front of a mirror, which might suggest that the feature may need one to work. The second and third videos show us a virtual controller without the tracking rings, which looks similar to the controller leaks we saw earlier this year. One video even shows a controller being held like a pen, just like what you can do with the current touch in Horizon Workrooms. And the fourth video shows two players inside a Beat Saber before a third person joins and seamlessly switches between apps while still in the party. Outside of these video leaks, we've had real verbal confirmation from Andrew Bosworth that the Quest Pro does in fact exist, but might not launch this year. We've also heard from trusted Apple analyst Ming-Chi Kuo that both Facebook and Sony have ordered high quantities of new, more expensive VR lenses for 2022. With all that considered, it seems very likely we'll hear about Quest Pro later this week. The next thing we think will be revealed is Facebook's rebrand. Last week, The Verge reported that Facebook is planning a rebrand of the entire company to reflect its push towards its take on the metaverse. This could well include a brand new name for the entire corporation that treats Facebook, Oculus, WhatsApp, Instagram, and others as separate entities. If there's any truth to the report, where else better to confirm it than at Connect? No one knows exactly what Facebook's new name could be, but we've seen bets taken on Meta, Connect, and Horizon. Speaking of Horizon, we're likely to see at least some sort of update on Facebook's growing library of social apps that fall under that banner. We're still waiting on a full release of the long-delayed and recently renamed Horizon Worlds, while the company launched its VR productivity app Horizon Workrooms earlier this summer. We could hear release details for Worlds then, or we might hear about new apps that could carry the Horizon label. Facebook has been rolling out new features for the Quest platform pretty solidly over the past year. We've seen improved hand tracking, support for higher refresh rates, and the ability to mark your couch in pass-through, not to mention Air Link and other major updates. But it's been a while since the last big software launch, and that's likely because the company is saving some news for Connect. The only question is, what's in store? It's been confirmed on multiple occasions that Facebook is working on a social element for the Oculus Home environment, could we finally see that announced this week? We're also predicting new content announcements. Here's the thing about 2022. We really don't know too much about what's coming just yet. Resident Evil 4 is now out, Medal of Honor is due to arrive before the end of the year, so we're hoping Facebook gives us some games and apps to look forward to in the coming months. The company has been on a bit of a spending spree, buying up Beat Games, Ready at Dawn, Sanzaru Games, Downport Interactive, and Big Box VR but it's yet to publish a brand new Oculus Quest game from any of those studios, not counting Rift's Lone Echo 2. Perhaps we could finally see what at least one of the studios is working on at Connect. And finally, tradition dictates that after this year's keynote, Facebook Reality Lab's Michael Abrash will take to the stream to deliver a deep dive into the latest ongoings at the company's R&D department. If Quest Pro is coming soon, then what could the headset after it feature? What's the latest with Facebook's ongoing work with AR hardware? Those are just some of the questions we're eager to see answered after this session. So, what are your predictions for Facebook Connect? Let us know down below, and head over to uploadvr.com to read up on everything we've touched on today. Yeah.